Okay, so I'm uh, here in Trailer the Avatar. It's R27 still. As you probably know, uh, there are no hat quests for for R27. So the guild EVL. The guild EVL, which is every lasting virtue, I think, is the uh, is is what the uh, stands for. I've decided to uh, do their own hat quest. Uh, so here we are. We've just started in Soul Town. So I'm not sure uh, how much talking I'll manage to do. Uh, so I try to concentrate on keeping up and, you know, not crashing and stuff. Which uh, Swiss has had a slight tendency to do. And not just any old crash, like real hard machine lockup crashes. So the evil hat hat quest, as I understand it, is uh, much the same in general theory as the normal hat quest. In that they're, they're going to take everybody to uh, some of the new areas and and check them all out. Oh, new in R27. Oh, so I didn't get lost yet. <coughs> so apparently Port Graf is the first new area. Uh, if I understand it, that should be through Eastridge Gap. And uh, up towards the uh, northern half of the island, where the Graf Gem Mines are. Oh, I could be wrong. I'll just try and keep up, and we'll see how it goes. Where did he go? Oh, are you kidding? <laughs> they've, been, they've been dragged into a thing. Let's see. Let's go into Eastridge Gap, and I presume they'll catch up with us. Always inconvenient. Those, uh, <laughs> those. Oh dear! I wish you could turn them off. I've been doing a lot of time in this release around the uh, High Val area, and there aren't any random encounters up there. It's a bit jarring coming back down to the uh, perennial coast and. I'm finding everything. Alright, they're back. Everyone's back. So this should all be a pretty familiar area so far. I'll take it we're ignoring all the bad guys. Oh, you know, I'm pretty sure we take them. Damn 
Let's just heal up. Yeah, I did go around earlier today. And... I think in reality, and I've leveled up quite a lot of my skills to uh, interesting levels. Uh, found all the, all the specialist trainers. Uh, so I now have the resurrection skill for the first time ever. So they're in that number four slot. I need someone to die around me before I can actually make use of it, of course. So, I'm expecting us to head up north. Oh, I've not been to Port Graff yet, so it's quite interesting for me to see the uh, see the new areas, which is the point of, of doing the quests, of course. I was quite disappointed that they're not doing quests anymore. Uh, it's sort of one of the main reasons to log in its release, and, and even one of the main reasons to bother levelling up your character. Because uh, you know, leveling your character made it easier to do the hat quests. Uh, but yeah, this sort of community-driven, community-driven approach is uh, is fun too. Alright, they've laid down the challenge to the Phoenix Republic to do the do the R28 hat quest and they've already accepted so we'll see one there as well uh, as far as I'm aware EVL are going to do one are going to do one next week as well so it's every Monday at uh, well, 1am UK time in Soul Town. 7 7 pm New Britannia time. I think everyone everyone I'm with is actually in EVL. Uh, here I am guildless, but there you go. Oh there's poor graph look. In we go. So, I've not been there before. Uh, obviously, as far as narrative is concerned, it's it's related to the Graph Gem Mines, which were a little bit further north. Uh, I'm not sure what it will be like. But there are only you know, so many templates, so... It probably will reasonably familiar, but we shall see. If my game loads, here we go. Yeah, I have had some issues with it crashing in this release. Not as bad as the last release, where it was crashing quite a lot. I oh, see it looks um, just like Kingsport. Yeah, it's not crashed as much, but it's crashed really aggressively. Okay, welcome to Port Graf. The gateway to Graf Island and many other distant lands beyond. This bustling sea town is still under construction, however, it is of key importance here in the northeast of Novia. You have successfully awarded credit for this location. The main locations are Paladis Shardwall, Superstition Canyon, Palmer's Ruins, and Artifice Entrance. Okay, let's go. So I presume the Shardfall is a uh, PvP area, which normally I avoid, but you know, 
here we are at a party maybe it'll be alright I'll be quite annoyed if uh, if we actually get any PvP action but there we go, right, oh they're all off for someone Fold spur. See, I think all the shard fall locations are PvP. They, 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 uh, uh, the shard fall we ran past earlier, which we're coming back towards now. That's one there, look. That was uh, one of the hack quest locations in the early release. Although I managed to get in and out early on Sunday morning when there was nobody about. Uh, there were a whole bunch of, uh, of um, tour guide campers going on there. Really exciting screenshots on the on the forums if you if you can find it. About 30 people all standing around the tour guide waiting to kill anybody who came near it. Oh, it's gonna not, get, not get lost behind the trees here. So Paladi uh, in this lease the whole sort of southern Paladi area has, has had a lot of adventure scenes added. As I mentioned on my uh, on my first look video, although you probably weren't listening by that point. Brittany Graveyard, which we would have seen on the previous hack quest on 25, I think. That's where the uh, player player named Tombstones will appear. It was one of the uh, one of the pledge rewards. And there we go, there's the shard fall. Someone's there already. In we go. Onward. So it is a PvP area. That's what I suspect it. The idea with the shard falls is that I think they're all PvP, and then there's intended to be some uh, choice resources to encourage people to take the risk of going in there. I don't think I'm probably going to put enough hours into the whole game to make it worth my while hunting down special secret resources, but there you go. Uh, so my game when it crashes, it crashes on 0%, it crashes on 52%. And when it crashes, the whole computer locks up. It is... Locks up. I have to actually reset it. I can't even SSH, it, SSH into the, the PC. Uh, Superstition Canyon.
<laughs> it's quite a distinctive style. There we go. A PvP zone. Not something. <laughs> Not something I'll be in coming into often in any of my videos. There we go. I survived a minute in a PvP zone. Although technically I have been in one before because I made my basement a PvP zone and uh, uh, loaded up my spare character and, and did some PvP in my basement just to see what it was like. Just so I could know. And uh, yeah, obviously you know, I'm fighting myself, there wasn't much resistance. I did win. kind of interesting, but I'm not sure it's my sort of thing. Too many buttons to press. And generally the combat's just too buggy to really, you know, I suspect a lot of the time I'd be losing, I'd be blaming the game for not doing what I told it to do, rather than thinking that guy was much better than I was. Um, one thing I do need to work out is how do I chat to party? And I don't actually know. Have we lost some people? Now that's gone offline. Let's ask them. they'll probably know. Right, now it's responding. isn't fully populated yet to be fair and most of the people who I would party with like my brother who I've uploaded a few videos with he's not really into playing the game while they're while they're doing all the um, still doing all the wipes because with the last wipe coming up in uh, when was it May a few months anyway. He will not start playing. I'm looking forward to the uh, the start of the real game, so to speak. I did think I probably wouldn't play much until then, given that there weren't any high quests. But I've actually been having quite a good time this weekend. Leveling up some skills, doing doing all the quests to do with all the starting locations. I've not got Grand Masters like what these guys have. If you see that these arrows, Grand Master skills there, look. Here we go. 16 Grand Master skills. So I think my highest skill is 60 something. Which is the product of, well, let's see, over the weekend I played about 20 hours, I think. Couple of that with maybe uh, five or six before that. Uh -huh. 
and this is a control point. I've been there quite a bit recently actually, you can see the control point on the hill. Uh, first battles ratio on a daily basis for control of this lucrative trade route between Vedantis and South Paladin. It's actually quite a cool place to come and level up, which is what I've been doing. It's got some nice resources. Strangely, it, it has a whole bunch of cotton plants. I've no idea why cotton would be growing in an environment like this, but it does. So I'm assuming that it's a placeholder for something else. But uh, there you see, there's one look. And yes, they're cotton plants, quite, quite rich in beetles. Which, since I've been trying to uh, craft some things with uh, Carapaccian thread. over there. Someone's been through and farmed all. Yeah, let's see, I can take that mage, no problem. It's blue. Yeah, some trees. There's a whole lot of mandrake root. You can see a bit down there, but there's a lot of it lying around. If you're looking for mandrake root to do uh, alchemy recipes, this is a great place to come. Yeah, I've been uh, quite handy. This uh, this area, and although they are bad guys, as long as you don't try and take the control point, they're quite thinly spread out. So most of the time. Most of the time, you're only battling one of them at a time. You're not you're not uh, taking on groups of them. So even if they are better than you, you can just uh, res up and go back and finish them off and do it that way, and eventually wear them down. Not, there are some areas where you have no choice but to get ganged up on. There we go. A palace ruin. So I've not been to a palace ruins, I don't think. Are we going in? <laughs> Nanak is offline. We're not going in. I think we could probably take them, to be fair. Yeah, here comes Nanak. We're going back. Yeah, so many bandits within the region look for easy speaking, so we dare not enter. Nanak's entering anyway. <laughs> Final stop of the tour, Artifice Entrance. So, I presume we're waiting for him to come back out <laughs> before we head off to uh, Artifice Entrance. Oh, is he back? He's back. Who's gone offline then? <laughs> so, I might come back to the Palace Ruins. If I can uh, level up properly, <laughs> if it's 
if it's that tough. Might be worth checking out. I think I might have outgrown some of the uh, regions I've been at. So you can see at the bottom my uh, combat experience is quite severely drained now. So adventure experience 3300. Which isn't much at all. <laughs> you need to kill two to get away. Oh, we're going through Vertus Pass. So this will probably look, is it this one? I think this and Superstition Canyon are quite similar. They are the same general layout. I may be wrong, I may be thinking of a different pass. But let's see. Let's see how it goes. Oh, 52% always dangerous. Oh no, we're off. So hopefully I can get to the end of the video without it crashing. Oh no, this is this is a different map. <laughs> Let's see what sort of area this is, right? Elder Wolf, but he's blue. So not that difficult, although he's quite quick. Look, oh, more elves. Another blue one. So if you've forgotten, blue means more than ten levels, more than ten adventure levels below your current level. So if you look at me, my adventure level's at the top. I'm 48. So if they're blue, then they must be below level 38. So it's actually quite likely that they won't even hit at all. I'm assuming since these people have all got Grandmaster skills, their adventure levels are all much higher than mine. Although I have been spreading myself about a bit on the old uh, skill gathering. Whoa, cool. Troll. Ooh, the troll's yellow. Oh, and the polar bear. Cool. Trolls, polar bears. Large polar bears. Oh, very exciting. Oopsie. And we're escaping. We're running away. <laughs> Run for your life. So yellow means they're above me, but not massively above me. Red means they're more than 10 levels above my adventure level. So, oh, we're off. Yeah, so red you'd have no chance. Yellow I'd have some chance, although taking on a polar bear. <laughs> you have to run faster than the last person of the troll. <laughs> so I might have a chance against the polar bear, or I might have a chance against the troll. But unless I've got the polar bear and the troll to fight each other, don't think I won't have any chance against both of them. So we're heading out to the west coast now. Um, Blood River is down the end of this road. Well, not the end of this road, but it is down this way. I'm not sure if we actually will get that far.
Somebody clearly crashed after joining the party. I don't know what happened to them. At some point I'll run the video back and check and see who it was. Seems a bit of shame. Got that man there with his coconuts. If, you, if you're into your Monty Python, the coconuts are the reward we got. Uh, instead of rideable rideable mounts. town to know. They have benefactor crafting stations, even though using them can be frustrating because there's some uh, uh, weird bugs in the fleece. The angle you have to make to the crafting station to actually be able to select them is just beyond comprehension. I just got frustrated the other day and went and used the crap ones instead. Because using up more um, more fuel was just uh, seemed to be the sensible option. Are we going in? Artifice. This looks quite pretty, doesn't it? Let's see. It's another location I've never been to before. So this will be my. Uh, This has been my first experience of it. Let's hope we load up. We've passed the first milestone, but 52% is the second time where it crashes. There we go. We're in. Sort of the inside of someone's head, then. Oh, more elder walls. Oh, there's some cotton. Oh, what's that? Satyr Fighter. But apparently, friendly satyrs. A satyr archer. Somebody just fell off. Stop here and await a Xenos for respite. What secrets lie beneath the artifice entrance? Who knows until the halls of artifice are finally revealed. So I'll take it we can't go in yet. So now we trade because they're getting hats. Trade. Now, I don't know. We're going to trade one at a time, but there you go. There we go. Phoenix Republic will, will host this event for the next release. And then. Uh, I'm not 
sure how the trading works. So the reward, uh, air quotes, because I presume the, the guild has crafted them all. This is a is a bucket helm. trade one at a time. Right, let's try this, where is it? All items. Helm. Copper bucket helm. There we go. Looking good. Now we'll all put the helmets on, and uh, we'll do a nice picture. So we'll just wait for that. Take a few. All right. We're waiting for everyone to put. There we go. That's good angle. Everyone to put the helmet on. seems to be into it. Tries to work out the inventory. We're pausing.
guess we're not. People are confused. Oh well. Oh dear. Somebody seems to have fallen off. This is quite a pretty area. Oh, people are teleporting. people. I need to hang on. Add friend. Can I teleport to him? Going to Soul Town. Follow. There we go. So that works. I don't think the teleport scroll does. Bit of a messy end. But there you go. It's been quite fun. Been chased by a polar bear and a troll. And it does make up a bit for there not being any uh, proper hat quest in this release. Well done to uh, to uh, EVL for getting that getting that ball rolling, and I look forward to the Phoenix Republic in the next release. Let's just hope this all loads up, and we can do our all helmet picture. Missing someone. Someone's still in artifice. Never mind. That's encumbered. So you can't teleport if if you're encumbered. So I am well off being encumbered there. So that's good.
Here he comes. So there we go. Bit of a ragged end to the uh, quest. It's uh, otherwise went quite well, I think. Uh, like I said earlier, if you want to get in on the action, they're planning on doing it next Monday as well. Uh, 7 pm New Britannia time, which is 1 am GMT. And you get a free bucket helmet, which is a uh, Yes, hang on, I'm wearing it obviously. Let's look at it there. Damage resistance 2, damage avoidance 3. I don't know how you could avoid damage when you're. Um, when you're wrapped up that securely. But there you go. That's a close up of it. Does it? it does look kind of cute, doesn't it? Where on the hell? Where did he go? There he is. <laughs> it's interesting that interesting that you don't get. see the helmets until you've zoned. Kind of a weird bug, it has to be said. So there you go, that's the uh, EVL hat quest. for R27.